Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Lady Eve Elements. I will not be time stamping my readings. So if you find yourself on this channel, that means your spirit guides led you to me. Welcome, subscribers, non-subscribers, cross watchers and the like. Everybody be blessed. No weapon formed against me and my channel shall prosper. My channel is blessed by Yeshua, the Most High God, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Enter into this circle along with the Archangel of the Heavenly Court, the Ark of the Covenant. Enter the Most High God into this reading. No negative energy, energetic attachments, energy vampires, spiritual thieves that like to cross watch or watch. You are not allowed here. No diamonds are allowed here. Archons are allowed here either. You're not allowed here. Not allowed in my circle. Back to Asheroth, you go. Now, for those that are meant to hear this message, this message is meant for you. If it does not resonate, it is not your message, okay? Resonating mean if you feel the message and it resonates in your spirit and your soul, it is meant for you on my channel. I don't hide nothing. I keep it to y'all real. All right. We're going to get into Sagittarius. I already did Aries. Did Leo. Doing fire signs. I had to split it up because I didn't want it to be too long. Because I'll keep rambling <laughs> with these messages. Like what the message is and blah, blah, blah. I will not be uploading no more <clears throat> defensive uh, magic. You want to learn defensive magic? Join my group on Facebook called Teaching Hoodoo Magic 101 Classes and Session. Teaching Hoodoo Magic 101 Classes and Session. It's a $50 flat fee. Don't be joining and thinking you're going to get in because I'm going to delete your ass. It's a $50 flat fee. It's $50 a year. To learn what I know. And these defensive magic techniques are very powerful. And I don't need to boast or brag. It will help to protect you, your children, your home, all of that. I'm checking my Facebook page now. Okay, Sagittarius, we're going to get into your love reading. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith. Spirit of the Most High God, Yeshua. I'm here in Maldichek, Eternal Priest. You are welcome here. I would love to have a priest look over these readings. So I'm going to call him in. Maldichek, I summon you into this reading. Archangel Michael, I summon you into this reading. Gabriel, I summon you into this reading for Sagittarius. What up, my Sagittarius crabby asses? <laughs> Y'all be all happy woman and crabby ass. You know what the next. This is your older fire sign sister talking to you. You can't tell me nothing, Sag. I got a Sag in my house. <laughs> my auntie is Sagittarius. Her and Tiffany Haddish share the same birthday, so I know they be wilding. What's going on, Sagittarius love life? You pulling more dark mirrors than love? What the fuck? What you doing, Sag crabby ass? What's going on with y'all? My I hate when I say that. <laughs> I'm playing with you. Don't take it personal. They're the most lovable, though. You gotta love a Sagittarius, yo. JT said you. The, girl is, it, the girls are prettier than the boys, though. I'll put it out there like that. Yes, they are. Here we go. Three more cards, Yeshua, for Sagittarius for their love life. What's going on in the realms of love for Sagittarius? What you got going, Sag? Let me find out. What's the T? Talk to me. What up? <laughs> like Martin Lawrence. What up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Ooh, 
extra one fell out, okay? You know, I'm nosy. Okay, so Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, you got to give your relationship a chance in the reverse. Work on your partnership. Something that you don't feel you need to work on. It could be that you're just busy with life and work, that you don't have time for yourself or this relationship that you're in. This is for those that are situations, just relationships, fuck boy, fuck girl. Take it how it applies. Okay. Let's find out what's going on with you, Sag. I don't know why they just say it to Sag. Now, we do have playfulness here. Y'all play too much, though. We have playfulness, but we have bride in a cage. We have forgetting oneself, reverse. Y'all never forget yourselves. Y'all too intelligent for that. So we got playfulness, bride in a cage, forgetting oneself, reversed. We have anger in chains. Anger in chains. Oh my God, for real. Release your ex. Seems to me your ex is still energetically attached to you, Sagittarius. While you're all up over there calling in your soulmate. You calling in your soulmate, yet you got new love reversed. Not, le not letting new love come in. And it could be because you feel energetically that you do need to release this ex-partner of yours. Energetically, if they're not around you... You be thinking about them or dreaming about them. That's energy. You're putting that energy in me. You need to let that go. You know, I got to back up. I, my card looks like peeps in here. Okay. Religious factors are not influencing this. So, it has nothing to do with it. But I see reconciliation reverse. You don't want to reconcile with this individual. Very soon is in a reverse as well. So, like I said, I'm feeling like there's the energy here that you're still either physically around or energetically mindfully thinking of this ex of your Sagittarius playing with it in your mind about how things used to be y'all was together but I also see you here calling in your soulmate Sagittarius forgetting oneself you're knowingly knowing what's going on around you pretty much Okay. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. But yet we have anger in chains. Someone, this ex of yours, we all know who this is. This ex partner of yours doesn't like the fact that you all sunshine, rainbows, and unicorns. They, they don't like the fact that you're happy. You could have been dealing with a Leo. Look at that. That's a lion in the back. That is a lion. I'm, I'm, it's very prominent in this photo. That's a lion. You could have been dealing with a Leo that's highly aspected and, and completely jealous of your shine, Sagittarius. If they're not a Leo sun, it is aspected in their astrological chart. But this is a Leo nonetheless. I think he's sitting on his damn throne. Why the, ah, look at him. Ah, why is she having fun over there? Okay. This person wanted you caged to them. Ooh, I bet you felt suffocated. Bride in a cage on bride bride in a cage above the card release your ex. And below that card is reconciliation refers. So what I'm getting from this Sagittarius is that this is energy I'm looking at it i see it this is energy for some of you this person's not around you but they're staring at your photos and shit on online look at the look 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 at it look at it stop it the damn light you see the red the red the, do you see the red okay this person is throwing energy beams at you mental mental i call that mental magic look See what I'm saying? Release your ex, Sagittarius. Or they need to release you. You need to do a walnut bath. I'm going to just put that out there. Even though I don't do defensive magic uploads no more. I'm going to just say it in this reading. Because you need to look at, look at, look at, look at, look at that. Look at that. 
Look at it. Yo, this motherfucker's doing um mental magic on, on on this face of the moon waxing. Release that energy. Let that go. Yo, this person probably doing this and after they do this mental magic, going to bed at night and astral projecting their ass into your dreams and stuff, then they actually probably physically contact you. Hey, how's it going? What you doing? Whatever it is they doing, that this is how they doing it. They, they're doing mental magic first. And then they contact and you second. Release them. Walnut bath. Black walnut bath. Burn a blue candle for your mental or a yellow candle for your mental. You need to release that energy, that mental, that mental energy that this person has on you. Because ain't no reconciliation. Even they know it. They know ain't no reconciliation. But they're holding on to you energetically energetically this person's holding on to you Sagittarius your ex is holding tight on the ass Look, stalking in the background lurking Ooh. okay you know what forgetting oneself look at this it's in the reverse forgetting oneself is what is that number 17 break it down to an 8 calling in your soulmate very soon is reversed so you won't be calling in your soulmate. You should be. You should be. Your angel is right here letting you know. You're getting a nudge to make those visualizations, those prayers, affirmations, to, to call in your true person so y'all can be together. But it's not going to happen if you're energetically attached. You need to release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I'm going to show you again this picture. See this mofo? In the, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. This person probably sent a dead spirit to your house, too. I don't pull nothing past it. You better put brick dust down. I'm just saying. You better put brick dust down, Sagittarius. Put that brick dust down. I told you, no mirrors. Remember that skeleton key? Let me tell you something. First time I ever saw that movie, Skeleton Key, and it's about who do not boo do. I was like, hmm. You know, they did that in my family a lot, but I never did it. So the first time I tried that... I didn't pray over it. I didn't do nothing. I went to the backyard of the building I lived in because the building I lived in was made out of bricks and there was extra bricks on the side of the building I actually lived in. I took my hammer, went down to the backyard, and I hammered away at brick, at a brick. I hammered it until I got done. Let me tell you, that stuff is hard to try to break down. But I did my best to gather up what dust I can get from that old brick that came out of the building I lived in. Let me tell you something. My aunt, may she rest in peace, was a black-hearted witch, okay? She was always in the damn cemetery. Think nobody knew what she was doing. She never. When we did a backyard party, my mom lived downstairs, and I'm on the second floor, my sister on the third floor. Let me tell you something. When we did a backyard party and invited everybody, including her, they wanted to walk through our building, her and her daughter. And because I had my brick dust laced at my front entrance door, she didn't even want to come in. You know what she did? Peeped in. That brick dust is meant to keep people out who have ill intentions towards you, to harm you. You need brick dust. This person is sending dead spirits. They're doing mental magic. Some of you, this dead spirit comes to your door at night. I see it lurking outside someone's window. It's out someone's door. This person's in the graveyard. Or they paid someone to go to the graveyard. Yo, this is supposed to be a damn love reading. Unbelievable. But I'm telling you, this person is fixated mentally on you, Sagittarius. Brick dust. Release that energy. Because this person's sending out energy beams, mental wavelengths, and all kinds of fuck shit walnut bath brick dust you name it you know prayers ain't gonna get it because even in the bible it's bible quran torah wherever you want to read it at it's gonna tell you okay you can pray all you want to but without action prayer don't mean a damn thing action because i know you don't want to reconcile with this individual you know what they about okay 
you they could be stopping you from calling in your damn soulmate because there's so much in your energy release them clear your energy sagittarius clear your energy from this ex your soulmate out there waiting for you and you messing around messing with this one okay don't play with this one this one ain't for you this is a karmic okay i'm i'm getting hot thinking about it damn beans Woo! lord have mercy okay yeah this person's trying to stop you look how i know this new love is in the reverse they don't want you with nobody this person don't want you with nobody sagittarius clean it up sagittarius clean it real quick clean it up oh yep Right when I was going to tell you what I needed to tell you, Sag, my cards fell. What card fell out? <laughs> yup. Seven of Cups, confusion. They want you confused. They doing graveyard magic. That's what I was trying to tell you before my cards fell out my hand. And it fell. This is the card that fell. Exactly on the ground. Seven of Cups. They want you confused in your head. They throw illusions at you. I'm telling you, they mess with you. They're trying to mess with your mind, Sagittarius. That's what I'm telling you. Mental magic. You gotta do more than just wrap your head, okay? So for this Sagittarius, I was gonna tell you. Because you're such you're you're my baby fire sign. I'm not gonna let nobody fuck with my Sagittarius. I'm an Aries. Sag, get you some shea butter. No, no, hold, hold, hold up. Hold, hold the fuck up. Sagittarius, get you some African homemade shea butter from the African store or from the Jamaican place, wherever you can get the original African shea butter. It has no shape. It comes in a container, that one. You go on a Sunday, Sunday morning when the sun shines bright at the crack of dawn. You're going to take that African shea butter, put it in the palm of your hand, rub it together, and pray for the release. And then you're going to pray for clarity. Say your affirmations. Say your prayers. You need this wicked person out of your mind energetically. Release this person you need to keep them from astral traveling. Sleep with black tourmaline under your pillow. Okay. They're trying to cause you some sort of mental confusion. They're trying to cause you mental conflict in your head. They're throwing illusions. They're trying to make it where you disillusion. Like you're not in your right state of mind. They're doing graveyard magic on you, Sagittarius. This is this 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 is an X. That's an X. Mm -hmm. what I say four cups this person got you where you don't see the, the other opportunities of having a soulmate okay I saw that they mad because you won't accept them back reconciliation reverse remember they mad because you don't want them back. You said, no, I don't want it. So they, they like trying to cause confusion and shit. Okay. Watch your mind. Eight of Swords. This is all about the mind. Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords. Witchcraft. Mental magic. Why four cups? Because you don't want they ass. This is someone you separated with. If you separated and you didn't put the divorce papers in, put it in now. Release that energy. Queen of Swords, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the fucking truth. Eight of Cups, they're going to come back around. This could be a, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius that you were messing with. They're trying to come back around and communicate physically with you after they tried to psychically attack you. Unbelievable. Look, like I said, get that African shea butter. African shea butter. Put it in your hand, palm of your hand. You could even pray the 23rd Psalm if you have to. And put it on your, your Ori. 
which is the top of your head. You know that mole that babies have? Where they say don't touch the mole on the baby's head? That's where your ori lies. Rub that sh African shea butter there. Then you wrap your head. Then you burn your white candle. Then you put your brick dust down. Then you're going to read this. Psalms 91, 52, 53, 54, 55, 37, 35. Play it back if you ain't hear me. Because this mofo going to try to come to your house. They want to come to your house. They want to drop shit at your house. The sun reverse. You know what that means, right, Sag? Close doors. Close your opportunities. They don't want you to have no opportunities. Watch this person. You could be dealing with a damn Gemini. Watch this person. Very sneaky. Them air signs are sneaky as fuck, yo, when it comes to doing witchcraft. They act like the most innocent mofos, and they not. They smile, they giggle. I went up against them people a while back. Was dealing one, had to battle one. You ain't messing with me, bitch. I'm number one in Zodiac. Don't fuck with me. Fucking with me is like fucking with God. I said it. You're going to reap what the fuck you sell. Excuse my language. Sag, protect yourself. Especially if you got babies in the house. And I don't give a crap's ass if you got babies by this one. This is making me mad. I'm sorry for cursing you too, but I got to put this is how I feel. Like, no. No, we ain't, we ain't mess with Sag. Uh-uh. No, I will defend Sag to the death, okay? To the death. Use that inner strength of a Leo, Sagittarius. Use that inner strength, Sagittarius. Cast judgment on that motherfucker. Okay? They ain't right for what they doing, and I see all that they do. They ain't right. That ex ain't right. And I'm getting pissed. I want to smack that fucker. Anyway, they're not right. Do what I told you to do. Read those songs. Burn that white candle at your front entrance of your door. After you put that brick dust down, no, you do not need to put any oils in it. If you feel like putting the oil in the white candle, you can carve your name in that white candle, punch a hole in it with a pencil, and put some protective oil in it. Oil of protection. Your best bet, because you a fire sign Sagittarius, use fiery wall of protection. Wear all your protection terms, your crystals, your bracelets, your amulets, whatever it need, you need to get, Sagittarius. Protect yourself from this ex. They dirty. They playing dirty. And I see them. Be blessed.